guys, welcome back to another top 10. I did a top 5 last time, so this is the top 10. And it was my favourite Pokemon, so go check that one, guys, okay? So go check that one. You're free to. And the channel uh, trailer, I can't figure out how to put it at the top, so it's in one of my playlists. It's the channel trailer, okay, guys? Just thought I'd put that out there in case you haven't seen it. And yeah, this is going to be top 10. So hopefully you enjoy it. It's 100% opinionated. So see you there. The 10th spot, guys, goes to Needlekin. The poison Pokemon, I think it is. Well, it's something along the lines of poison. And it's a mouse, if you actually didn't know that. But it's a kin after all, and it's the, like amazing, and it deserves the 10th spot in my list. In my opinion, it deserves the 10th spot. So, yeah, there we go. There's number 10. Welcome, and this is number nine, guys. Raichu is number nine in the slot. And probably you guys go shout at me saying, Why isn't it Pikachu? Why, why, why? Uh, because I prefer Raichu personally. I do not, I need to the number nine spot. I prefer more than Needlekin. And yeah, I, prefer, and I just prefer not as much as the one in number eight spot, which you'll find out soon. So see you there. Number eight spot, it is my favorite all type bug Pokemon, uh, B Drill. Guys, so yeah, and it's one of my favorite Gym 1 Pokemon. Now, most of the Gym 1 Pokemon, except from uh, one, I think it is, are on, no, not on my top five favorite Pokemon, but these are my top favorite, top ten favorite Gen 1 Pokemon. I can say so, I can't have like the other ones in. Okay, guys, so yeah. And I'll also do another top 10 part 2 after this. That might be a good idea too. So yeah, they'll be in it. So see you that way. So see you there. In number 7, this goes to Aerodactyl. My favourite... Uh, Fossil Pokemon, the fossil Pokemon, Aerodactyl, uh, from Gen 1, obviously, and from all the other Gens. My favourite dinosaur in real life is actually a Spinosaurus. But there isn't a Pokemon which is a Spinosaurus, which I'm aware of. So tell me when that one comes out, guys, and I can do the updated version. But Aerodactyl stands in the spot for now. And in number six, guys, I think this is, I'm sure it's number six, uh, goes to Haunter, the pre-evolution and the evolution of Ga pre-evolution of Gen Gengar and the evolution of Haunter. Now, I just feel like this Pokemon has more design than Haunter and Gas, uh, Gengar and Gasly. Gasly. Now, if I had to choose out of Gengar and Gasly, so it would be Gengar, but Haunter's here right now, so... Oh, it's my favourite Pokemon. Come on, well, favourite ghost Pokemon in Gen 1. Number 5 goes to Jolteon, one of the Eevee evolutions in Gen 1. Out of Flareon and Vaporeon and Jolteon. Jolteon is my favourite Eevee evolution after all, and coming after Umbreon. Coming before Umbreon. Umbreon's my second favourite Eevee evolution if you never knew that, guys. So, yeah. Let's go. So, it's the Fox Pokemon Nine Tails. And he's Gen 1 and he comes after Jolteon and before my third favourite Pokemon, and you'll find that out in a bit. And he's a fire type, and I absolutely adore fire types. So yeah, he is Nantos.
Gyarados, who is called Gary in my Pokemon Go series, uh, is one a favourite and he took forever to get and he's in a Pokemon Go and it's the same feeling in the other one because you've got to get him to level 20 as a magic pack. And then he doesn't even learn a water move. But his design is really good and he plays a good role in Kanto series. Yes, I think it's my stay sphere. Here we are. So, here's my favourite, he's my third favourite Pokemon in Gen 1. Second spot goes, guys, to Arcanine. My favourite dog Pokemon, come on, except from Rockruff and Riken Rock Midnight. And Zorak after all. And Lucario. You know, guys, but he's my favourite dog Pokemon from Gen 1. And he's also a Sumo Legendary. So who doesn't like Sumo Legendaries? So, yeah. And in the number one spot, guys, is Charizard. And he was in my top t top five favourite Pokemon. And I'm soon going to get rid of that top five favourite Pokemon and do a new one. Because I think I've just had a sudden change of heart. Change of heart. And I'm going to change it into a top ten, actually, guys. So, thanks for watching this one. And Charizard is my favourite Gen 1 Pokemon.